greetings to all my viewers and subscribers. Oliver Lifestyle, J.A. is here. Have no fear. Do it me and do it for make everybody see it. Even though, as we say, more times some people don't want to see it, but we will force them to see it. Because they watch you, you know. You have some people who are watch you. And we now watch them. They have to watch you. You hear that? Because you see when you are a falcon or you are a phoenix people have to watch you and will always watch you. You see in our life more time or most time I should say more and most actually you see I'm not wrong with that. It's the most time in our life, guys. Come here, just gonna tell you as it is. Most time in our life, the more you rise, and the more you come under strain. See? The more you rise, and the more you come under strain. I am always. Interested in learning, and my ears them and my eyes them ready for that. For listen and for see things for what it is. More time, some people know why I for see things for what it is. Nothing is wrong with a person standing up for themselves for what they think is right, you know. Nothing is wrong with that. But, you see, in our life, guys, when you see how people conduct themselves and behave, many of us behave a certain way based upon the background of how them grow up. Your background for your grow have a lot to do with your personalities. See? And a lot of us parents did have to start from somewhere to read somewhere. A lot of us parents did have to start from a one room to another room. Because children start to come, so another room is necessary. Along with a bathroom, you know. And as time goes by, parents decide to put on another room. So, it's three bedroom and one bathroom. We tile it, you know. And start to live and live and whosoever get big gone for them one who oh, their college their college you know but you have some people based on how they treat humanity and deal with humanity one kind of way you wonder if you know, have to wonder because based upon for them or them conduct themselves. You can know. You can visualize them background. Even if I saw. So. But them character show you the other way that you have to think about he or she. Most time, you see, some kids grow up and become adult, and then personality is something like something where you can't deal with. Your stomach cannot take it. Some of them children that will grow up to become adults are some children 
who see their mother and father have sex. Or, them live with their mother in our one room. And when mother carrying her man, they say, yo, come on, find bed and go down the floor. And in their floor, lie down and look for the mother and take her back as up there. So you find say there was no expansion in that relationship. Sin, there was no expansion in that relationship. You ever hear them say one room pitney problem? Them them outer harder, them do a sort of things, them not grow up with certain principle them just not have no man as them just slack all type of dirty things come out of them mouth because you have some parents who love to lap frap pale and talk anything and anything that come out of their mouth while their children is around more time of them children is spoil up your good good picnic at school too you know because when you good good picnic at school you still go to school like innocent and nice and very 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 go to school here so sitting or your youth remain humble like yeah cool but broke out because somebody pit me the grow one kind of way when they hear them mother say yo come on for bed and go and lie down let me do my thing you understand so sometimes them kind of attitude there where some children grow up and see it end up become a stigma internally so then grow up what like hog you know if you understand when we say that see them grow up a certain way so there's no form of principle there's no form of feelings there's no form of 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 any affection you see me them thing that the thing where cause a lot of men to cannot stick around their children can't stick around because them father never stick around. Always them mother. See? So yes, I know when you when you when you see them character for what them is, you can know one room. You know? One room. And it goes it goes out for both party, man or woman. See, as a parent, parents have to know this. Make proper adjustment for your children. And that's what I think, sir. Right now, I'm going to go into this content and react about it. I may not react a lot because I want you guys to listen. This content is based upon a movie, a well, well. Well-known movie, an African movie, I should say, black people movie, and the person doing a reaction on the movie, so them, them silent the original sound that the movie make with and put in them voiceover for the movie. And based upon for when you listen to the voiceover, you can automatically see what is going on and in the movie. You can see that because most movies create after of what they did to black people back then in slavery. Cool? So, you find, say, and I really, and I most, and I really, black men, you know, really construct a slavery movie, you know. But after building it, a black man can take it over to and do it. Me more feel like it's a white man make the first slave movie. Them come up with the idea how them think a slave was treated. Yeah? So, when you look upon the whole truth and fact about this 
content, it can just lead you back in a very deep imagination how our parents, parents, our, 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 our ancestors was treated. For me, that is the reason why I, I dislike a person who classified a person as black or whatever, black or woman, I like nothing black and rare, says something different. But no, because I want more than complexion. A lot of people do it. Even my mother do it. And so she do it and I talk to her. Because vexation. But I don't care. You know why I'm not care? Might sound a weird a way you know. It just come like when I say Maki wash your mother here. I may look on it and I say, watch that. The love way that I have to share with a mother in that farm or near to that. You can't share them kind of affection them with any any mother. Because enough mother no grow up them kind of way there. You have enough mother guys. All time days no grow up with no love. You have new you have new set of generation of mother guys. When you grow up with no farmer love. So they can't show no love to no kids. Or their children. You see me? So you as their kids have to end up grow up and Try to maintain love. Learn to love. Because the parents them, when they realize the parents them cannot teach about love because they don't know nothing about love. Then course. And through them course, you have left them for who them is and what they believe in. And when a person cuts black. I always imagine the roots of a black man and where they're coming from and the suffering that we as black people go through back in the days. And I would have asked, asked my old lady, say, you know where black people are come from? Because you don't white. Vex up. Vex up and now nah, talk to me. And me I say, anytime you get up and a paint and paint yourself white, then me can probably pass it to be white. Right now, you're black. Stop throw shades. Because she was like that. Them color prejudice. That is the reason why I'm not to believe in a family. Because when they discover family for what them is, they move away. They move away through them color high and you're dark. Some will say to her, say, you know why you cuss black? Because you don't know where you're coming from. And she will say, I don't know manners. Truth me attack, it truth, it truth hurt. Me not no man has truth me attack, it truth, because I see you. Can't believe I'm a pit and tell me they're sitting here. The my thing about it is to say, listen, I never asked to come here. I never asked to come here. I never asked to come here. So if you meet my daddy, and my daddy meet you, and you collide and have sexual intercourse, when you have sexual intercourse, our co our our the mother bird feet, you know, um, courteous or courteous or some fucking like that. Let's go with language, guys. <laughs> Coitus. <laughs> or coitus or what? Coitus. Yeah, man, we know a word, man. Coitus. 
Enough people don't know that word they need, I know. Let me take a drink off of me anything. Cheers, guys. You don't know. We're not a lot backward, you know. Coitus, man. Sexual intercourse, you know. So, guys. I just always sit to myself and I ask you to come here. You just bring me come here. But by the end of the day, maybe it was destined for me to be here. But I just never ask for the life. And she said, boy, Oliver, you know, he said, listen to me, man. You must respect your, your nation, man. Respect your nation. You see, yes, sir? This. You see, this, yes, sir? Look for most African flag. And see if you don't see one little black in a summer there. On the flag. You must see one little black. You must see one little green. And you must see one little yellow. You must see one little something. A one nation. See? So you what me now. This content. Guys. Before I go down the road, eh, when I look at myself, you know, and I see, you know, a lot of people you know, really, really want to tell them the truth. The truth is always bitter. This is the same like when I sit down, right, so, and can talk to you know, guys, and a person say, Oliver, Ray, 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 and Ray. When I go back and look in my brain, if I'm not sure what you say, I will probably research it to see. I'm not afraid to come back and tell us, you know, say the truth is that uh, when we give that respect, that the honor there. While there are some people now come back and tell you nothing. You see? Let me explain something to you guys, because I don't want to last you, you know. See? I don't want to last you, know. you see, in a life, it's about give and take. Just like when you see some people get the opportunity to run with my name all over the place. It's an opportunity. It's an opportunity. I love it. I'm enjoying it. Yeah? Because why? It makes people know me. So me now if you try to run down anything at all. I just sit back and things just come to me. See? When I have to try to prove for no one, I try to go on like say we're better than no one. We're not better than nobody. We just a live. But I be say, when I like when people try to talk about black and you're black like and you're black this and rare. We never rate them people, they never like them. Never like them. Because the reason why I pray this way, you know, guys, is because based upon the stories them that we get, they never treat us good. And you as a black person don't know your history. Because if you know your history, you're in a role. So, as a parent, many of us, many of us grow with self. Even when we have parents to grow with. Enough parents trick themselves, feel like them grow them pick them. More time I them pick them grow themselves. Them go did they look over you if you say, say you got a school clean and they sit there. But they're not teacher. You see? More time a stranger and I street teacher. And what up for eye to life. You see? So if a man or a woman know where they must spring from and where they must come from. From you know that, you do do better. The same thing me tell my old lady. If you know where black has spring from, you own know, behave color prejudice. Now I got rate you. I'm not carry you. Yeah, man. Pata. Pata Sika. was a black slave forced to produce 
over 200 children for his slave master. Tell me you now, guys. Me ever tell them people there. Me ever tell people them something. Black people was put at one point to become a breeding site to bring slave, more slave, more slaves. Black people. Can you imagine as a black man, you would have a little girlfriend. When you not have a boyfriend and girlfriend, you know? Maybe them, you know, pull apart. Because based upon of trusty, a trusty, yeah, maybe when I save them, when they not cough up. And just imagine, if you see, a man take away your woman and put her out to a next man to impregnate her right before your naked eyes. Because him no one use you to impregnate her. No. You know why? Because your mental power is weak. You are not bright. You are not educated. A person doesn't have to be educated like book educated, you know. But smart then. Let me say it that way. They're smart. Brilliant. When a slave master discovers a slave, a male slave, that that slave is tall and sturdy and strong and, you know, brilliant, smart, bright, whatever. Because they will discover, say, hey, look at that brother you can't read too, you know. You're good at read and then discover, say, oh, fuck, this nigga can't read. They realize, say, you're smart. So you what me now? They push out the woman to him. For him get her pregnant. So them discover that slave there, so that slave there, bright, brilliant and smart, and they use that slave to impregnate a population, a female. So any one of them females that did he even did he even have a man. Once a man have no brain piece, him can't see that the pum pum again. Make sure you drink some of this Heineken here. Yeah, man. We are labor right you now. But we now go there, say, here. Come now, we are saying, I'm not drink Heineken, sir. Yeah, man. We read the green buckle, but we don't know a thing. When I tell you, we are going to talk about politics here. Come now, we love politics, just like Christianity. We have them kind of thing about winner, guys. <laughs> I, just, I run me, I run into the air. I love me, love me, no. So after you have to just give, you know, like a little jovial mistake, and you don't know. We love you, no, you know, guys. We love you, no, can watch her. We see a few of you guys. Stand up for me. Stand up for me. A few of you guys. I want to encourage me. We see one heap of things are going out in our, in our network, then. One heap of things in our media. One heap of things, but when remember, say, I have people like, you know. I don't really want to know if you see that side there. I mean, I me, me really don't want to know if you see that side there. Because right now, I have a video where if you sting up a boy over there. You know. I don't have to call no name because we don't give them the credential there. I don't have to call no name. Yeah, man. One man where I never ever talked to yet in my life. And he have my name in my mouth. Over there. But this is true, me love you know, guys. Me just say, you know what? Um, stand down a little. Me not to make a man know say me can be like him or worse than him. But I know I can be worse than him. If me have to just go in on my brain and start dealing with certain things because, you know, if you put him out there, people are going to shame him. Where you did fuck with the man for excuse me language. Where did F with the man for? You see, man, I do. 
Because I can tell you something, no fun to have some woman you know, we're caring, you know. And you have some woman when you're there, we don't like slackness. When you see a man put up certain things out in the media, who not go out there to? Who not go out there to? Just like how you put up a man one certain way. Who not feel like a man can put up something to? Me understand say a lot of us are like dog shit, like myself. But we can put up something tough for people because you know, and say, you know, if you trouble that person, you if you just do your thing and ray, ray, ray. We can't do that. But me not have to make it look like me when I see him. Because them say, who know better do better, you know? Yeah, man. As me tell you guys, you have some people where grow in a one room and then parents move to another room and build that and build that and build that. Where you have some parents where grow them children in a one room only. And when, especially when it's a person where I grow with mother. And when she push off the door and say, yo, come off my bed, I'll grind. Go the floor. You might watch your mother take a back as or a cock up foot on shoulder, lizard lap, chicken skin out, and all these things. So when a child comes to see those things, they grow up with them things, they become a hooligan. See me I say? They have this thing about them because they see their parents grinding. We know them thing there. I get on me grow up, you know. We know them thing there. So when we send my good, good children to school, more time my good, good children lick head with them and spoil up our kids. You see this thing I talk about with the slave? This thing I talk about with the slave, guys. I always I tell brethren and brethren, say, listen me. When you look at a woman, you have to know what you're looking for. Don't just go look any any woman. Ladies, don't just get up and look any or any man. Because you are some man a definitely waste man, and your pitney will come waste pitney too. Never forget that. Never forget that. Then how the white man discover it? For you as a slave for impregnate over 1,000 women, why you think him used that the only man there and that the slave there was well fed and they check up on him every minute him off with their doctor? He doesn't do nothing if he say he might go work in the cotton field. He, he, he doesn't do nothing. He's just a breeder. So when you see things like that, you can know the gene is so strong that him get 1,000 odd women are pregnant and warm to them picnic there. You know, feel like them picnic there and they with each other. Guys, come on, man. Them same type of man they from back in a slavery. Them same type of man they die. A whole heap of man get the people and girl picnic pregnant. And then I look on the youth. Then I look on the baby mother. Can you imagine a baby mother get pregnant for a boy out there? And when she's there at the hospital, I see some mother, baby mother, baby father come to the hospital. Go look for them. I carry out rice and peas and stew pork and all them things. I carry care one nice bucket of KFC. Go left with her and go hug up a baby and rock a baby and take two pictures. In the hospital with the baby, you know, when you stay so, you know, what I mean, guys, come on, man, come on, man, when you stay so with your youth, you know, say, your youth, how oh, the baby mother feel, if you know, say, she not have nobody to come visit her, so where man there, and if she walk now more too hard with any, any baby mother, in that, then you could hear her there. Or in that damn day. Then fly up on her and this and say, oh, how long you die and you breed and pit me and ray and your man not come look for you. Go ahead and see my man come look for me. Ray, ray, ray. And I be a problem this again and you understand? So, guys, I'm not joking thing, yeah? So that's why I ever tell some youth, say, listen to me. Not you, woman, have pump, woman, have foot. Now run down that. No, we are run down. 
know what you do before you put that there, sir. Because it's if you get her pregnant and based upon her background, the people never come tan, tan just like she. Or tan just like somebody in her family. See? Woman, who don't have to know say the same thing too. Now, true boy might look this, look nice and boy have care and this and that. When you run, go dash out to no crutches. And breed up. When you check a stock, boy have all family in him. But boy have, boy all have family in him. Why have our family where we, 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 we born all crippling and sitting there? Pitney can come by and look at one way like him, uncle will look crippled. When you check a stack, you yes, say whole family of them have a problem with them brain. So your pitney life if you come with something. Because pitney no must take no far for you as a mother. You will take whole from the father. Because the father DNA there in a picnic. Yes, see picnic, yes, see daddy can know him picnic. He can just take his DNA from the picnic without care, mother, for going to have a feed picnic. If a white man can detect that, if a slave is bright, and him tell him, say, listen, we want your breed off the wall of this, so. can you imagine? But I jab him off him, man. Me not really grudge him, but me like it. <laughs> me like it. You can't imagine. You, go, you look for a population of women out there, so you know, say, how you are going to breed them up. You person nice, not you. That's the truth, God love men. That no person nice. And then in a the long run, guys, you get old. You get older, and then you circle them. With a wife and get a wife pregnant nine times. So if you get a wife pregnant nine times, nine picnic, what to then 200 picnic there? When you get out of the street, when a few picnic there with their foot, you know? Like before. Guys, it reached to a point the amount of picnic where the, the slave have. A man can't remember. He can't remember their face because them, them grow out. Them, them, them grow out in sight. Because they scatter all over in their population. In their cotton field. He not see them picnic there again. So he can't know which, which is which. If you know saying you them. So a man like that can't have no guilt, you know. Even if he have guilt, you know, guys, he must live with it. You can't show it. So after him get them how much thousands of women they pregnant and them pitney they come. Them pitney they liable to come bright. Because the white man knows say the gene in I pitney will come from my daddy. It's stronger. In most cases. See? So right about now guys. Let us get down into this video. Come on and share one little piece of clippings. It's just a clip. Because you don't know a thing. See? And I just want to listen. Where this person said. I just want to listen it here guys was undergoing a rapid expansion of cotton, sugarcane, and rice production. The invention of the cotton gin enabled the profitable cultivation of short staple cotton, which could be produced more widely than other types. This led to the economic preeminence of cotton throughout the Deep South. Slaves were treated as a commodity by owners and traders alike, and were regarded as the crucial labor for the production of lucrative cash crops that fed the triangular trade. With the end of the slave trade, and the high mortality rates among slaves due to the backbreaking labor they were usually put through, the supply of slaves was running short. The slave masters needed a solution, and they needed it fast. With the route to Africa completely cut off, slaveholders would turn to something more sinister, an idea that could only be born in a mind that saw humans as commodity, with no more rights than a cow or a horse. 
To add to the supply of slaves, slaveholders looked at the fertility of slave women as part of their productivity, and intermittently forced the women to have large numbers of children. During this time period, the terms breeders, breeding slaves, childbearing women, breeding period, and too old to breed became familiar. The breeding of slaves would solve the shortage crisis and damn the future generations of the enslaved. But within this tragedy is the story of a man who would go on to father as many children that make up a small village. That man was Pataseka. There are many tales to his legend, with some saying he lived ten times the lifetimes of any slave. Others say he was gifted, not just to plant seeds, but lucky to never witness the brutality of slavery in its true form, living a fulfilled life due to his prowess. Despite becoming a legend, historical information about Pataseka remains scarce, and many people are at a loss as to who he really was. In this video, we will turn back the hands to time and visit one of the most bizarre times in history. We will go back to the Caribbean. Of slaves. Here, we will discover the story of Pataseka. Before we get right into the best hands on the fields, so as they bred men with women, they engaged in a form of natural selection, choosing only the best men to plant their seeds. The selection process varied among different slave owners, but generally, they would assess certain physical characteristics and abilities. Enslaved men who were considered strong, physically fit, and healthy were often preferred for breeding. This was because slave owners believed that these qualities would be passed on to future generations, resulting in offspring who could endure hard labor and be profitable assets. Physical features such as height, muscular build, and endurance were highly valued. These traits were thought to enhance an individual's ability to work in the fields, perform heavy tasks, and withstand the harsh conditions of plantation life. Enslaved men who displayed these characteristics were often chosen as breeding partners. Additionally, some slave owners prioritized specific physical attributes that they believed would increase the market value of enslaved individuals. For example, men with fairer skin tones or specific facial features were sometimes preferred, as they were seen as more desirable by potential buyers. This preference reflected the deeply entrenched racist beliefs of the time. It was during this time that the legend of Pataseca would unfold. Pataseca, whose real name was Roque José Florencio, was an enslaved African who endured a life marked by oppression and dehumanization in Brazil. His tragic... So guys, now first off, I must say slave thing, the church, they cut off from Africa. Some of them have to find a way. And find a way fast to get some more slaves. So the slaves of them already have around them. Them decide to use a slave who is more brilliant, smart, obedient, intelligent. And when they see we look strong, they don't want a feeble slave because they don't want a feeble pitney. And them think they are reality. So in a, in a life, when no man a look man, you don't have to know. When man a look woman, you don't have to know. You have a thing named bright jean, the bright jean, and the dunce jean. And the bright jean is actually strong as the dunce jean. Because you have dunce jean as strong. Remember a virgin, a dentist virgin, saying, you may pull a teeth in a jawbone, and when him did if he pull out the teeth, he get a phone call, his daughter call him, Daddy, what's up, I've been trying to get you, what's up, what's up with you, I can't get, man said, listen, I am very busy. Pulling out a man teeth. I can't talk to you right now. Daddy, I've been trying to call you because I need some cash now in America to spend. I'm running out of food. Remember, you sent me to college. I need money to spend. The man said, Don't you think I know that? Didn't I told you how to save? 
I will get in touch with you later. The virgin is a, the virgin is a African. Guys, the man did that talk to me. I may listen to him. But he may talk like he may grumble. Yeah, where my grumbler say, yo, yo girl, after me I work so hard and I pull out too much teeth out of people's head just to make sure say you got college in a foreign. Eh? We take you from Africa to send you to America for you got college. You got fine man. Now you got fine man. And I come tell me about your fine man. Hear him now. General, if you have a daughter where you spend on and she find money, you think you should have sent her to college again? You feel like if you spend no more money on her? Man say you're a youth, you know. You're a youth, you know, you want the best for her, you know. Man say me feel like a man for take care of her. Because she find man. Me now you send her to America for a look, man. Which him right. A man say, she tell him say she have boyfriend. A man say ask her, you sexually active? Yes, daddy. She must say, say Daddy, I'm okay, not question that you ask me. A woman never ask me any question there. A man say, Yo, don't come to me with well, your mother. Me is me, your mother is your mother. Me, I spend my money to try to help you to college. Daughter, in, in base on my talk, like in your shock cry. So anyway, a virgin say, Brother, me I send this girl to college and she go find boyfriend. Alright. Me I question this girl about the boy. What him is in college? She can't tell him. So she say, so him say, him ask her and like she say, she tell him some things. Like she say, she and him study together but him weak in a maths. Him not so good in a English. So the virgin say, where you come from? She say, America, I come from, man. So I say, American, not good at English. So, he may ask her, say, oh, him talk. She say, him, him talk a way in German words, like, you know, them American know them talk one way. He man say, he say, ask her, say, him bright or in done? She say, daddy, I am brighter than him by far the man said look panara and said did you know that the bright the dunce gene is as strong as the bright gene or even stronger than the bright gene so she like he must say she said daddy what you talking about so i'm saying said to her say oh you know reach your levels there yet the man said to her say listen look for your phone and look up for this book me never ask him about the book. Because he did a chat, 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 chat. And me want to take out the teeth. Because I have a terrible teeth taking on my job. Me, me just want to get you that and come out of the office. Anyway. When the man go say that. Me I said, don't Jean. Right Jean. So me, you know. Show me have a cat in my mouth. And you know, he did done, you know. Sit on up on one bench and did any talk. No bench, seat. And like him say, I'm going to share something with you. The man say, I'm a friend. And the friend, a doctor. A surgeon. The wife is a doctor. Surgeon too. He has some picnic. Braga University. They say they want to doctor. Where that tell you? The man say, where that tell you? The man say, if him bright and he's a doctor, and his wife bright and he's a doctor, where you think him youth go on, him youth go on come be? Doctor? Because it's a doctor family. When me a man say that, me nobody say nothing more to him. Me understand everything. Where am I say? Yeah, man. So Access guys, to learning. These children were intentionally farmer from Sao Carlos, Sao Paulo.
However, Seca didn't actually live the life of a slave. He had a good relationship with his owner, Francisco da Cunha Bueno, who entrusted him with responsibilities such as delivering mail and caring for the farm's animals, which required him to travel daily on horseback between the rural village and the city of Sao Carlos. He enjoyed a unique position as an enslaved man, as he did not work in the fields or live in the slave quarters. Standing at an impressive height of 7 feet 2 inches or 2.18 meters tall, he was deemed a perfect candidate for the role of a breeder. Due to the prevailing superstitions during the time of slavery in Brazil, it was believed that tall men with slender legs were more likely to father male children, which were much needed. When the young man talk about Brazil, I'm not going to take me to do this. Because Mr. Brother Colors are down there. Yeah, Mr. Brother Colors see me TV down there, along with Papi and Climber, which is Carl Orius, which is his name. Come again. To work on the fields and tend to livestock. Exploiting this myth, Pataseka was designated as a slave breeder by his owner, responsible for impregnating the female slaves on the farm. His descendants estimate that approximately 30% of the current population in the district of Santa Eudoxia, Sao Carlos, can trace their ancestry back to Pata Seca. Seca's roles were to generate a strong labor force with favorable genetic traits to boost the productivity of his owner without incurring any extra financial expenses. Seca's life was controlled by his owner's desires. He was meticulously checked for diseases, well fed, and like livestock, he was put to work as a breeder. The exact number of women he slept with or the frequency of these encounters remains unknown. However, it is estimated that Pata Seca fathered over 200 children who inherited their father's enslaved status. Consequently, they too experienced lives of servitude, with some being sold for profit and others compelled to toil on their owner's plantations. The children of Pata Seca were treated very poorly and had to endure harsh conditions and unimaginable cruelty. They were often forced to work from a very young age, performing backbreaking labor on plantations or in households where they were owned. These children were not allowed to have a normal childhood and were stripped of their innocence. It was quite a haunting life and the complete opposite of Seika's experience, as he was given all he needed as long as he could produce more offspring. The struggles of his offspring are one of the reasons why most of his descendants are unknown. At the time, Pata Seika could barely tell which children were his. Along with those of other breeders, the children would be put to work once they come of age. Just like their parents, the children were seen as property. They were considered commodities to be bought, sold, and traded. Families were often torn apart as children were separated from their mothers and siblings, with no regard for their emotional well-being. Once grown up, the enslaved children were forced... And I want to go tell me about black. Them I think are some people for watch, man. I don't know if you know history. If someone don't know no history, we don't know cause black. And say a man black. We go we come we, we come we come from afar, you know. We come from afar, you know, guys. Come from afar, man. To work, performing laborious tasks that were physically demanding and often dangerous. They were assigned to various roles depending on their age and physical abilities. Some worked in the fields alongside adults, toiling under the scorching sun for long. It's if you the one day. The one day we are talking about me look like Turkle. If you did have the knowledge of me have, you will not go on so. And them thing I know if you can watch and know where you come from. Can you know where you come from? Hours. Picking cotton, planting crops, or tending to livestock. Others were assigned to domestic work, where they served in households as house slaves. They were responsible for chores such as cleaning, cooking, and taking care of the children of the slave owners. This is some owner. Well, of Guani Guani. You see, if the life had it to come back round, Uno Kuno Beery. Some owner will love one, one kind of way. You see me? Yeah man, you know not bear it. You know if you see which part you not come from. I know you not come from. See? 
These children endured both physical and emotional abuse at the hands of their masters and mistresses. Slave children were also subjected to dehumanizing practices. They were often denied education, as it was believed that an educated slave was a threat to the institution of slavery. Without access to learning, these children were intentionally kept ignorant and denied the opportunity to develop their intellectual abilities. Furthermore, the enslaved children faced various forms of brutality. They could be subjected to harsh physical punishment, such as whipping or beating, for the smallest infractions. The goal was to instill fear, control, and a sense of inferiority within them. This brutal treatment served to perpetuate the notion that they were less than human and reinforced the power dynamics of number of offspring for his owner, Pataseka received relatively favorable treatment. He was granted special privileges and even received a plot of land from his master when slavery was abolished in Brazil in 1888. After gaining his freedom, Pataseka found love and companionship in a woman named Palmyra, whom he married. Together, they would raise nine children, forming the foundation of their own family. In the land gifted to him by his former master, Seika dedicated himself to constructing a new life for his Guys, I want a strong breed of blood that. And up till today, we can't tell you this, that strong breed of blood there still exists. Enough things we see happen in our life, no way I see, is something that, that they go on before. It's just like how you say, certain things get prevalent now, man to man, woman to woman. I think I, I know that I happen. Them things that happen from back in a them a time. Yeah? At them a time it a come from. The gene. The thing we are run through. The human. Cells. In the gene itself. Powerful. Powerful. And them things that are run through mankind. You see me? So more time when you see some things that happen out there, more time you can't blame him. You can't blame a man from certain attitude and in behavior. Because I come from them time yeah, where Gina travel down. You see me? Life itself evolves. See? Every day something has been created. Let me explain this, guys. You have some people. Me now go classify them as ugly, but you have some people when I really answer. Man and woman. They're not really good looking. Let me put this up. As time goes by, them offspring, 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 come up, offspring. They see changes in them features, them facial expression, changes. See? It's like you are the copy. See the copy the writer saw? The copy is like a mole. And you mole out of that mole. And there, so now. You were the present mole. The other human, a mole from me. So that mole, we're going to mole for that human. And up get more better looking than me. Just like your children. Your children, they're going to get better looking. I'm going to be better looking than you. You see me? And I said travel out and travel out until Pitney all end up born brown and look different and but the same gene. His family. Embracing the role of a farmer, Seka owned and operated Sitio Pataseka, his very own farm. Here, he toiled tirelessly in the production and sale of rapadura a solid form of unrefined cane sugar. Though his earnings were modest, Seika utilized them to provide for his family, nurturing their well-being, and nurturing his dreams of a brighter tomorrow. While he lived as a free man, 
Seika would never be able to connect with any of the hundreds of children he fathered while enslaved. As a man who lacked formal... And guys, this is where Bosi slave come from. Ima wana a man where if you try to run off a plantation, when you work for the slave master, Ima wana a man where we ride along pan a ass and shoot you for the master. Yeah? Him, you call Bosi slave. Ademia. They're in a whole heap of work environment. Them a type of people yeah. That gene there and the ways there come down. In a some people where get position. See? We get position in a any work environment. Factory. Anywhere. Anywhere at all in the world. There is always one of them yeah. De de. We are going like say in my boss. Him, if you and him have a vibes, him not stop carrying your name to your boss until the boss get fed up on you and tell a lie on you and you lose all the work. Go through them things there already, man. Mm. They are work and I. Work and I'm supervisor can't get along. The man does a follow me up, a follow me up, a follow me up, you know. Follow me up. Boy, I report me to the boss so many times. I'll make explain to the boss to send a server. Man say, boy, I love me. Can't work with you again, you know. Can't work with you again. So I say, say, fire me. I say, yeah, man, I have to let you go. Because you're the man not get along. I said to the boss, the boss, and I mean uh. Anyway, in terms of you come, like you said, come, come, come Friday, come pick up your, your paycheck. Go Friday and pick up your paycheck. You hear that? Tell me, I tell you this, you know. Yeah, man. Boy, stop food from coming my mouth. Boy, stop food from coming my mouth. Boss is slave like him. Out of the gate, you have some people who sell beer and all them things down. You know, snacks and all them something there. Boss is slave, not take, not drive, not, not drive, you know. Boss is slave, not drive, you know, guys. Him not drive. Why make me, make me go work in my yard for a struggle? I forgot to send out one holy Paris in me again. Boy does not like me. A woman think I see. No? Me dung in a one catty skin, you know. And the boy look like he like you, man. Me know. You know. The man start carrying a piece of feelings to me. Anyway, me lose the work. I say me lose the work. Got me yard. I send me start starting up my resume them. Can't get no work, nobody now call me. I send me remember him. We just go down to go lay with him. See him stall by the side of the, 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 the gate. Stall. We just lift up two red stripe beer and give him them. And say, hold them here, hold them here, hold them here. When he look and see me, loads and skirt, I couldn't run him down. You see, you make me, you, you make me lose my work. So you forget to them. Yeah. You see me? Yeah, man. Give him some red, red stripe beer, man. Then time the red stripe beer for all 150 or one. Them, yeah. Then you have to be aware of here. Yeah? Boss is slave. When you get the second beer, guys, in your white, wide. Can't believe it. Come like in shock. You know how I can get that? I'm not going to do that to our next man again. May I tell you? Education and face the cruel realities of the slave era. Seika did not have access to any documentation that could help him trace any of his offspring. 
In those days, records of children born into slavery, indicating their fathers and mothers were rarely kept, further complicating his search. Pataseka died on June 13, 1958, at the age of 130 years old. He died peacefully in his bed in Santa Eudoxia, Sao Carlos, Sao Paulo, Brazil. At the time of his death, he was surrounded by his family and friends who honored him with songs and prayers. Seca lived through many historical events and changes in Brazil. He witnessed the end of slavery in 1888, the proclamation of the Republic in 1889, the rise and fall of several presidents and dictators, two world wars, and many social movements. His funeral was attended by thousands of people who paid their respects to him. His body was buried. Guys, all them people are here to stand up. Them we all be all in pity them and 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 them not know him. Say, I saw my pity them. They say turn up in the guys. Yeah, man. No joke. How we all saw my man you them that you know. We all look funny you know. So right about now, no guys, they don't know we are get done in the video. We are getting a little short clip for one little thing. See it tune. Don't know. So. Stay tuned, stay tuned. Yeah, can I come through? Yeah, my people check in again, so this is what's going on. You don't know who they are. Um, out from the water again. This time we are in a much um, lower boat. And the experience, trust me, it's Super, super nice. Breeze is a welcome addition because the sun and the heat outside is no normal. Unlike in um, Sao Paulo, it's really cool. Okay, so really hot in Manaus. Yeah, so it's a beautiful, beautiful look. We show the one. one. Lifestyle, J A. Have no fear. I do it. I do it to make everybody see. So I hope you guys enjoy that history scene about this slave who impregnated too much thousand women and get one holy papitney and all them thing there. And you know, say <laughs> we've been coming from a far away, guys. Trust me, as black people, seeing people must respect them color. You know what I mean? Respect them near them nation. And just know, say, I saw the thing set. Zimmy has said, Yeah, man, you can't cause a man about black. You can't cause a woman about black. See? Because we have come from well, well far. Well, well far. See? Our nation is the strongest. Remember me telling you that. I just show the unity thing now go work out. Because if you even try to unite, you have one side we now go and combine. And that's the life set. God is love. Every time. Remember to like, subscribe, share if you want. If you can. Give your honest comment about the video. And, you know. Respect and love. Every time. Big up.